this. It's wonderful. I don't know if it's good or not. Is it supposed to smell like that? How old is it? I don't know. Buttermilk doesn't smell great. Well, isn't buttermilk um, vinegar and yeah. milk? Well, that's what it smells like, but... Yeah, well, how know. old is it? I mean, it's not that old. What's the date on it? It says December 6th, but I'm not sure. It seems a little sketchy. I don't know. When did you buy it last? Last week? I think so. It's probably fine. I don't know about rope. That's the rope guy. So I was going to show you all our packing, but it turned out to be all consuming. But our U-Haul is now at the place we needed it to be. Let's see, clues, moving truck, white picket fence. Oh, it must be. It's not just any house. This is an 1870s Victorian beach house. And look at it, it's fantastic. And the greatest thing about it is that my daughter and son-in-law bought it and we're gonna get to decorate this house from start to finish. So let's go take a look at the inside. First thing you're gonna see on the inside our stained glass windows. There's both stained glass windows on the door and next to the door. I believe the stained glass window next to the door is actually original to the house. So super cool. Next is this wonderful mahogany banister and newel post. I mean, how gorgeous. When do you get to see details like that in a newer home? You just don't. There's nothing like an old home for that gorgeous charm. Speaking of charm, check out the inlaid paneling under the staircase. I have a pretty good hunch that that once also was mahogany finished 
and probably still is mahogany underneath and someone painted it, unfortunately, but isn't it just gorgeous? This was what sold my daughter on the house. How beautiful. Of course, no Victorian home. This front hall should be without a medallion and a chandelier, and they have one too. And of course, what Victorian home is complete without a fireplace in the foyer? Can you imagine that? It probably was a front room at one time. Now we're heading into the living room. This is quite a big room and it has been done very beach cottagey. You can see that from the former owner's example and they're decorating. This is the blue room, we call it. This is going to be a library. And we kind of like this because the walls are dark and cozy, but the placement of the windows is absolutely beautiful. The former owners use this as a playroom, but you can see, again, very beach themed. And they left the piano, which is an upright grand piano, and it's kind of beautiful, isn't it? Here's the dining room next door. You can see that there have been many farmhouse details put in there, including whitewashing the brick. But uh, you can see that one time you could put a stove in there, which leads me to believe that maybe this was the kitchen. However, now it's the dining room and you can see all the modern farmhouse elements. They're everywhere. But what cool built-ins, right? One thing you can't tell from the pictures is that the walls are rough and they were done with this finish and it's done consistently all the way around the house, which makes putting up wallpaper a really difficult thing there. Yeah, that fan has to go. That does this light, that's gotta go too. Here's the kitchen, it's a good size, there's a dishwasher, there's an island, there's everything you need, but they did try to modern farmhouse it. Again, you can see with all the white paint, you can see with the floors, and it's uh, not Victorian looking anymore, but I think it's about kind of like a, a 50s, 60s era kitchen put in there and uh, it has kind of evolved over time. So again, this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge to bring it to some kind of charm. Outside of the kitchen is a porch area that's gonna be turned into kind of a plant conservatory Victorian place. That's the goal, at least. There's a cute little new bathroom right off of the kitchen. Really wonderful, considering that also there is a pool in the backyard, and this is gonna to prove to be very handy. Heading back through the hallway, up those heavenly steps, we're gonna go upstairs and see the bedroom area. We start with a really funky closet. They used it as an office space and there's plenty of room for clothing. Even, apparently, if you're a giant, you can hang your clothing way up high by the ceiling. Here's the front master bedroom. This is the former owner's. Look at it. Again, very modern. I mean, really, what they did to it looked nice with what they had. But uh, this is going to be turning more Victorian. See those short windows? Very strange. Next door to the master bedroom is a nursery. And they're not going to be using it for a nursery. They're going to be using it for an office. So this, too, will get a redo. Across the hall from the nursery is another bedroom. Notice the doors there. They have doors like that over the closets and in the doorway. So this is gonna be a guest bedroom for them. Again, this is not their furniture. We're gonna be turning it into something a little more Victorian. But we all know that it's the bathroom that sells the house and this bathroom certainly sold it to them. Look at the built-ins in this bathroom, the marble countertop, 
Everything is so beautiful. You can pretty much bet that we're really not gonna do much to the bathroom. It's fine the way it is. No, it's not Victorian, but Victorians had outhouses anyway, so it doesn't matter. The tub is a wonderful soaking tub, and look, there's even an extra room just for the potty. It's perfect. Here they are, the Hello. happy homeowners. <laughs> Say hi. Nice warm house, too. Yeah. 